Hai, Assalamualaikum and a very good day to Madam Nur Shafina Sbeti Safri. My name is Nur Nadia Izzati binti Muhammad Azla Effendi. Today, me and my team members will present about our segment and interim reporting on the company that we choose, which is, is the RB High Comber High. Okay, um, first and all, before we start uh, the our present, I would like to introduce uh, our team members. Is consent on six member. First, okay. First is me, Nur Nadia Izati bin Tim Muhammad Azla Effendi. Next is Muhammad Zurin bin Ismail. Next is Nur Azmina bin Ti Azla. Next is Saida Nafisa bin Ti Abdul Kadir. And next is Nur Shahira bin Ti Razali. And lastly is Nur Shahira bin Ti Zaidi. Okay, now I would like to present a little bit about the company backgrounds. Okay, first is the Ivory Haikon was founded in uh, 1990 and stayed in Sha'alam. And second is after 10 years, the Ivory Haikon was matched with the heavy industry corporation of Malaysia and the survived resources were high. Okay, lastly is the Ivory Haikon was instrument in the development of the Malaysia first. Uh, national motorcycle and they join effort with worldwide um, to be uh, automakers okay next is nature of product and services on the abbey Halcom. they have uh, first is property development second is automotive third is aviation fourth is banking five is education and lastly is services Okay, next is explanatory of each segment, which is they have three segments. First is automotive, second is services, and fourth is properties. Okay, for automotive, uh, vehicle and design and development, company machinery, assembly, inspection and distribution to sale and after sales service. Okay, for service also, they have subsidiaries, Alam Flora Syndrome Berhad, Post Pakong, Ben Muamalat, Post Malaysia Berhad, Post Evasion Syndrome Berhad, Post Logistics Syndrome Berhad, and lastly, Post HC Syndrome Berhad. And lastly, for properties, they provide design competitive and printing and product difference differentiation for properties. Okay, next is Chief of Decision Making of the RB Highcom. Okay, uh, the group of Chief uh, Executive Officer, uh, Tan Sri Wan uh, Zulkifli Wan Arifin is Chairman of the RB Highcom. Okay, he also is responsible to ensure the board and conduct by conferencing on strategy and government and compliance. Okay, and then lastly is he also uh, promoting uh, constructive between director, board and manager. Okay, that's all uh, my presentation. I would like to pass to Shahira. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to Mary Shafinas and my fellow mates. My name is Shahira Bittizabiti and I will present MFRF 134 Interim Financial Reporting with my partner Shahira. First, I will talk about the basic operation of interior report. The interior financial reporting is an audited report and was prepared according to MFRS 134 interior financial reporting. It is a part of group and non audited financial statement and the information is presented in Ringgit Malaysia and has been rounded to nearest thousand. There are two methods in interior report, integral method and discrete method. Integral method we treat an entry report as part or portion of annual report and the report is by fraction annual report. Meanwhile, discrete method we treat the report period as a period from annual report and accounting period and the report will be prepared in on a periodic basis. Next is change in accounting policy in the financial report for quarter DRB High Berhad has changed five accounting policy with each MFRS one one seat related to property plan equipment. During the financial report, the DRB group of the company has now adopted the amendment of MFRS one seat COVID related rent concession issued by Malaysia Accounting Standard Board in June 2020. In the response of COVID 19 epidemic, the second amendment of MFRS 3 Business combination 
Third Amendment to MFRS 101, the presentation of financial statement for Amendment to MFRS 137, provision contingent liability and asset. Lastly, Amendment to MFRS 138, intangible asset. Here I show you the example of interior report of fourth quarter company DRB High Comber High. Third type of interior report. There are three types of interior report we each by quarterly, semi annually, and monthly. In the company we choose DRB High Comber High interior report as well prepared by quarterly, and we will analyze the interior financial report of the fourth quarter ended by 31st December 2020. Okay, uh, next we go to the period for the current and comparative of each statement. First statement, comprehensive income. For the comprehensive income, for the comprehensive income for the current is October 2020 until 31 December 2020. While uh, last year, October 2019 uh, until 31 December 2019. For the financial position statement, the and at 31 December 2020, same to last year, 31 December 2019. For the statement of change in equity, uh, starting from October 1 until 2020, until 31 December 2020, same as last year, October 1 until 2019, and 31, until 31 December 2019. Okay, st last statement is for the cash flow statement, 1 October 2020 until 31 December 2020. And the comparative for the last year is 1 October 2019 until 31 December 2019. So we go to the change in financial year and disclosure of comparative. Okay, on the media release on uh, 11 July 2019, DRAB High Comber Height, the group wished to announce that the recent board meeting convened on 8 July, it was decided that the group financial year end will be changed to December from the current year end of March. Thus, they are, the current financial year end will be 31 December 2019, a period of nine months having commencement on 1 April 2019. Why they did do that? Because the, the intention is to align the group financial year end to that of the nation fiscal year as well as the majority of listed companies on Bursa Malaysia. That means they want to enter Bursa Malaysia. This change of year end will also be effected to companies within the RAB HICOM. So, that means we know that the RAB HICOM adopts adopt a new financial end from 31 March until to 31 December, uh, starting from 2019. And start from now, 2019, 2022, and 2020, and above. As such, no competitive figure are presented. Sources to identify reportable and non reportable segment. The first one is revenue. External and internal, 10% and more of combined revenue of all operating segment. The second one is profit and loss. Profit and loss, 10% and more of the total profit or loss of profit making or loss making segment whichever is greater in absolute amount the third one is asset 10 percent and more of combined asset of all operating segment information for operating segment that do not meet the 10 percent threshold and are not classified as reportable segment is to combine and disclose under all other segment categories the RB High Comber High is using revenue basis in measuring its operating segment. For segment two reporting, uh, according to the calculation shown by using the 10% threshold test of revenue basis, there are three reportable segments that can be identified that consist of automotive, services and group which are 30.85%. 17.09% and 50% respectively while property and investment holding do not meet the requirement of the 10% result test which are only 1.91 and 0.14% 
from what we can see on the previous slide, we can conclude that there are three reportable segments and two non-reportable segments. Okay, to calculate the 75% to so test, total revenue total external revenue we divided by total business segment and multiply by 100 so we so we get 89.18% management approach factors to consider having a financial reporting type of segment chief of decision making and its responsibilities factors to consider having a segment reporting Nature of products of services Product Wide range of vehicles Motorcycle, commercial vehicle, defense vehicles and customized vehicles Service Waste management vehicles, inspections, postal services and banking and logistics For natures of the production processes Manufacturing assembly inspections Distribution, sales and after sales services. Factors consider having a segment reporting. Type of class customer for the products and services. Classify their customer based on demographic segmental income, fiscal graphic segmental preference and lifestyles, method used to distribute the products, provide their services by using distribution. For example, Euro Mobile Syndrome Berhad Automotive Co Corporation Syndrome Berhad, Yon Automat Syndrome Berhad, and Highcom Auto Syndrome Berhad. Type of segment Business segment. The RB Highcom Berhad Business segment is the automotive segment as the company is a fully integrated co automotive company involved in the entire automotive chain ecosystem. For the geographic segment, for example, the company has supply chains and logistical networks to achieve the critical mass and momentum needed to propel Pakan into the top tier automaker for the Asian market. Advantage of segment reporting To make account more transparent and understandable, Better analyze about risk and return, better understanding performance and evaluations, provide information to stakeholders. Disadvantage of the segment reporting Allocation problems, disclosure costs, managerial conservatism, difficulty in providing data.